for the history of the salvation of mankind. We thank you for your church. Make the light and salt of the world. We thank you for heroes past in the faith. We thank you for the church today. We thank you for the youth. We thank you for elders. We thank you for this great day universally. The commemoration of the ascension of our Lord. The testimony of his victory over death. Revive us as we meet today. Release your Holy Spirit to teach and guide us. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. To the glory of God. Today is Ascension Day. which we commemorate universally. It is a special day in the Diocese of Ikitioki and in the head church, the Cathedral Church of St. Andrew, which is Ikiti. And from here, we bring greetings to the entire world, wherever you are listening or watching us right now. It is Ascension Day. May you ascend by faith to the throne of faith and grace and mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. To mark this day, we have this special program, the beginning of the state basic training for officers of the Boys Brigade Nigeria Equity State Council. We have officers of the State Council with us. We have trainers for this special program and we have officers participating in this basic training. We have training in basic one, basic two, basic three, and basic four. All participants, please stand up. Bibi, platform and the Western 
block platform. The ascension of Jesus Christ is important to salvation history and particular to Christianity because it shows that Jesus really has overcome death. He did not just resurrect him to die again. But he resurrected, he ascended, and is alive forever and ever. What does the Bible say about the ascension? It is historical fact. It is not a myth. It is not a tale told. In Yoruba, it is not the story of Nyonigo Ati Ija. The Bible clearly says that after his resurrection, Jesus repeatedly appeared to his disciples over a period of 40 days and then finally ascended into the presence of God. In the Old Testament, there is a summary on the work, the office, the life and ministry of Jesus while physically here on earth. We have that in Hebrews chapter 11 verses 11 to the end. And we also have it in chapter 10 verses 1 to 18. In Hebrews chapter 7 verses 11 to end is the passage for our daily fountain today. In the New Testament, the narrative of all about Jesus, we have it recorded by all the Gospelers, the Synoptic Gospelers and John. When you talk of the Synoptic Gospelers, you think of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. That's the three. The John also has his record. But on this ascension, we follow that of Luke. And Luke is writer of the Gospel according to St. Luke and the Acts of the Apostles. In summary, what do we have to say about the ascension? It is just putting together the sum total of the life of Christ on earth. We think of his crucifixion. We have that in Luke chapter 23. And 24. We have the crucifixion equally recorded by Matthew, Mark, and John. Then you have Jesus' death. That equally recorded by Matthew, Mark, and John. The burial of Jesus, as you have it in Luke, so we also have it in Matthew. Mark and John. Then the resurrection and appearances of Jesus. We have it recorded by Luke, Matthew, Mark, and John. The record, uh, resurrection appearances in different forms and places and to different people on the road to Emmaus. He appears to be a group, the travelers. 
He also appeared to his disciples. Then the ascension took place. The idea of the life of Jesus. He died. Sure. He rose again. Not mysterious. In the sense that we cannot confirm it. It was real. In Luke chapter 23 from verse 50 and he led them out as far as to Bethany and when he lifted up his hands and blessed them which Matthew also recorded in chapter 21 verse 17 and it came to pass while he blessed them he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. In verse 52, and they worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And were continually in the temple. Christ is accompanied on his ascension by two angels who according to New Testament record in Acts promised that this same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will also come in like manner as you have so he go into heaven. The ascension gives man hope Give the Christian hope that our faith in God, our practice in our religion is not dead. There is hope. What benefits do we have in the ascension? Jesus said in John chapter 16 verse 7, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper, who is the helper? The Holy Spirit. We are in the era of the full force of God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And Paul in Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 9 states, what does he ascended mean? Except that he, when it says he went up, it means that Christ had been deep in the earth. Now that he ascended, he gave each, whatever you are, whatever I am, it is through that gift, that power of God. And the ascension play a significant role. What we are doing in this country by these dances today, heaven will call it. These are young minds, young leaders, presidents, generals, commanders of this nation, of the world. They are seated here. And they are being taught these things. They are to be rooted in their faith. God will bless what you do. Amen. Of course, when you think of Nigeria, in the year 2022, when you think of the world, in the year 2022, what do we have to say? There is destruction everywhere. Russia and Ukraine. And what solution do powerful nations bring forth 
More arms are what? Ambitions. More instruments of war to destroy self. It takes us this week a young man went into a school. What did he do? He shot and killed not less than 12. And what was the response? The police went in and he was equally what? Shot and killed. Killing, 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 killing. In Nigeria, in Sokoto, a Christian lady was what? Was killed. But a barbaric action. Up to date. Has Nigeria come out? Or any action? These are young people. Should we leave them in a hopeless situation? No. That's why this basic training, starting with the Ascension Day, to us is our mission to the entire world. These ones who are gathered here, they will go to places. For instance, the state secretary organizer elected to work directly with me and other officers to the glory of God with his entire family left for UK day before yesterday for further what? studies of course he's gone there with his faith with the spirit of Christ, and more of these people we go. Amen. To please the acting SSO. Is he here? Thank you. You see, he is a student of the NDA, Nigeria Defense Academy. He's doing his masters there. So these are the people we are bringing. No. God will bless what we are doing. And the officers are to work with. None of them is idle. Business people, lawyer among them. And you don't check me, you know me at all. So, what do we have to say? What's the message at Ascension? Ascension is saying there is hope. Everybody, let me hear you say there is hope. There is hope. Talk to somebody and say there is hope. There is hope. There is hope for you. There is hope for you. There is hope for our nation. I have hope in this nation. The faith of our forebears in our national anthem. With that, remember. We stand on the faith of our fathers because it's based on God, His covenant, His promises, and the salvation that Jesus brought, the ascension of Jesus. Abraham saw the end of stagnation. Isaac saw the end of famine. Jacob saw the end of deceit. Joseph saw the end of imprisonment from prison to praise, from praise from paradise, from paradise to praise. Ruth saw the end of loneliness. Hannah saw the end of barrenness. 
with the car, saw the end of Haman. What was Haman's plan? Haman walked through the night, thinking in the day he will come and destroy Mordecai. What happened? The table turned round. Oh, she said, Oh, she said, Oh, 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 Call them um, kidnappers. Call them what? Bandits. Call them government sponsors. Huh? God will help us as he did in the time of Mordecai. We shall see their end in Jesus' name. David saw the end of Goliath. Can you that fit me? Goliath. Storm. Olo Kokolo. Charles, you ain't got. Eh? Fear not what you have with you is mightier than whatever you will gather. Kid Africa will be Goliath. Tango me in Ghana. In Ghana. Ogo Kokojo. Jesus saw the end of death and that's why he ascended into heaven. You will hear of great philosophers. They died and that's the end of death. You hear of great religious leaders. They died and that has been the end of death. But of Jesus, he died. He rose again. He showed himself to many. He ascended into heaven. And he's coming back again. He's coming back again, my Lord. He's coming back again. Oh, 